and welcome to Refrain Thy Voice From Weeping series. The title for today is Caught in Between Signs. It's lesson number 10. It's coming from the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. Eve is caught up in a situation where her two sons, her only two sons, it happened that one day she just received a message that Cain had killed his young brother. What a painful experience. I don't know, and I don't think that Cain just killed Abel from nowhere. It should have started somewhere. The first brothers in the Bible inform us of the beginning of sibling hatred. We are not told if they had a grudge, but common sense shows that there must have been hidden hatred in the heart of Cain. After God requested both of them to bring offering, Cain's offering was rejected and it filled him with jealousy, anger, and much hatred that he ended up killing his brother. Oh, dear parents, the battles between your children, how do you handle them? Where one complains of the other, how do we judge them? Be mindful of our children. Our children's behavior from childhood, it's important. God has made us stewards of his heritage and our job is to mold them into God's fearing men and women. We must control our anger. This caused grief in her heart. Because I'm convinced that the attention did not begin at the sacrifice. But Cain might have had a hidden hatred for his brother. It's found among many families that siblings may have tension which might grow into hatred. No parent wishes their children to hate each other, let alone fight and kill each other. But today we see families. Families who don't talk to each other. This caused grief in the heart of Eve, mourning for her son, who was murdered not by any other person but the brother, who was supposed to be the brother's keeper. Her feelings are caught in between. Both are her sons. What does she do? Who does she choose? Think about it. Suppose it was nowadays when siblings kill one another. You see your child being taken to the court. You see the tension that comes in. You see both of your parents, the, the children that you loved. And you see the judge just pass a sentence that the other, the other son is killed, the other one will spend the rest of their lives in the prison or they will be condemned. How do we handle our children? Do, do, do we as parents favor one among the sons that we have, may God help us to reflect on those ways. May God change our feelings so that by the end of the day, as stewards of God's heritage, we should not be found wanting. Shall we pray? Our mighty Father, how we pray, Heavenly Father, that the jealous, the anger that comes into our children, you will help us to take it away through the Holy Spirit which you sent to us as our comforter. We want to thank you that as we continue this series, we may found ourselves worthy to be called your children. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen.